Hello everyone, hey, hey. my name is Olivia Lecoson and I will be your anchor for this wonderful event here at Video Bookstore as we launch Grace the Pandemic Warrior, an illustrated book by Dr. Mary A. Shen. Based on our current reality of living the new normal amidst COVID-19, this written piece aims to empower children to overcome any fear associated with the pandemic and encourage them to take little actions towards becoming pandemic warriors. The text of the story also gives children a springboard from which to harness their own imagination to create imagery about the entire story. At this point, I'd like to invite our dear Dr. Cyril Engman to shed some light on how important it is to continue to adhere to all the COVID-19 safety protocols. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you distinguished guests, parents, teachers, but most of all to young warriors such as Grace. My name is Cyril Engman and I am a father a paediatrician, a global public health practitioner, but most of all, a fellow combatant along with Grace. I feel immensely honored that Mary, who I have known for 41 years, has asked me to say a few words. And after I read the book, Grace the Pandemic Warrior, three thoughts came to mind. The first is that this book is based on data, solid accurate data that then draws upon the reader themselves to use their own imagination to contextualize and then build upon solutions to combat a problem. We cannot combat any problems if we don't have real accurate data. The second principle this book highlights for me is that for anyone who faces a battle or a challenge, whether it's in the school, whether it's at home, whether it's with health, whatever that problem is, we need to be able to understand it, to name it, and then to draw upon our God-given talents and insights to combat these. The third principle this epitomizes for me is that grace is the future. And even as we deal with what has been mankind's oldest and longest running battle, that against pandemics. Yet when I look to the future, I see young people, the readership of grace, who are brighter and smarter and who have their own unique source to be able to input into and make this world a safer and a better place. I believe in the potential and the power of our young people, and I just can't wait to see it happen. God bless. Thank you so much, Dr. Engman, for such inspiring words and for believing in the potential and power of young people. We can never get too tired of knowing the best way to keep safe in order to stay alive. We're very grateful, Mr. Engman. At this point, it's now time for us to take a short message from our proud sponsors. Guess what? Without Vodafone, this book launch, all you see out here will not be possible. Let's hear from them. My name is Ashoka Akron, the HR Director of Vodafone Ghana, and we're thrilled to partner with Dr. Mary Shen as she launches her book, Grace the Pandemic Warrior. Now, as a purpose-driven organization, Vodafone has partnered with so many organizations in various ways as we fight the COVID-19 pandemic. That is why we're super excited to partner with Dr. Shen as she launches her book, Grace the Pandemic Warrior, which uses brilliant storytelling to teach our children about the pandemic and to give them the requisite tools needed as they navigate these muddy waters. Congratulations to you, Dr. Shen, and we're very happy to come on board as your partner as you launch Grace the Pandemic Warrior. And I encourage all of you to go pick up your copies right now. I have some questions. Some big questions. 
can we hate less and share more love? Can we cure every disease? Can we make sure nobody's left behind? Can we go faster than 9.58? Can we change our ways before it's too late? Can we all stay safer? Can we go even further than we've gone already? Technology and humanity, together we can. still here and the launch is still ongoing and they are super excited to be doing a scavenger hunt right now. They're super excited, they're going all over the place scavenging, they're trying to see if they can find a copy of Grace the Pandemic Warrior. As many as they can find them, what they're going to do is take it downstairs. They do get to hear Dr. Shen do the book reading. I'm excited! Stay tuned! Now, to the very reason why we're all gathered here today, let's get cozy and relax as we listen to Dr. Shen read to us. But before we do that, for those of you who don't know um, Dr. Shen or you're not too familiar with her, well, she's a wife and a mom of three big boys, an author of stories for children and adults. Some of the books she's published over the years include Tuesday's Child, Sarah Koto's Diary, Adventures of Kobe Beidou Smith, Stubborn Kwame and a number of short stories, most notably African Connection, with a part of an anthology edited by Wally Soyinka, the esteemed Nobel Laureate. She's a creator and producer of the musical Tales from Motown. She's also the principal of Ghana International School and an educator. She sits on various boards such as the Mastercard Foundation Consultative Committee Chair. She's a member of the BETT Global Education Council, board member of Association of International Schools in Africa. With a round of applause, let's just welcome Dr. Mary Asia. We have some visitors from other schools in Accra. I'd like you to stand up so that we can acknowledge you. All the other visitors who are not from GIS, you're from other schools. Could you stand up and let's say thank you and hello? Wonderful. Good to have you. Good to have you visit us. So have a seat. Let's dig into Grace the Pandemic Warrior. And you remember Ariel asked a question about why there were blank pages there. So I'm going to skip them because that's for you to draw on and to send to me. So I have counted... 256 days, 14 hours, 16 minutes, 3 seconds since it happened. It is a very bad thing. It happened when I was in school. And it keeps going and going. Will it ever stop? How many of you think you know what it is? Okay, let's keep going. It's not just me who thinks it is bad, the whole world thinks it is bad. It is on the news every day. It makes people sick. It makes people sad. It makes the days longer and the nights scarier. And I'm truly sick of it. Are you? I know. Mommy doesn't go to work anymore. She's sad all day. Daddy tries his hardest to make us all happy, but he's tired all day. 
taking care of people who are sick from it. Kweku used to run and play with his friends, but he doesn't feel like doing that anymore. And me, I'm just sick of it. Mr. Samwa talked to my class today. He's our school counselor and everybody thinks he's cool. Even his face mask is cool. It has the Wi-Fi signal on it. That's Mr. Samwa there, all right? We had so many questions. Why is it so bad? Will it go away soon? Will we see our friends again? Will we hug again? What is a pandemic? Who started it? Because you know, if we could find who started it, what would you like to do to that person? I know who started it. You know who started it? Yes, but not It's well, a someone who traveled somewhere, but he came back with the virus, but he didn't know that. And in three days he felt sick. I think you're a newscaster waiting to happen. <laughs> so it's hard to tell who started it, but we know a lot of people who may have got it and they didn't know. And so they passed it on to other people. Mr. Asamwa could hardly get a word in. He smiled, put a finger to his lips, and he told us all, aren't we all lucky to be alive today? I nodded. So did all my friends. Was that all he was going to say? What about all the questions that we had? Was he going to answer them? I thought I'd start by reminding us all of the things we need to be grateful for. What did you have for breakfast, Jesua? And fish, Jesua said, licking her lips. Who had KK and fish today? Yeah, you did? I love KK and fish. Who? You did? You had fufu. Girl, you're, you're something else. Who, who had cereal? Who had something mild like cereal? Who had bread and egg? All right? So Jesua had KK and fish. What have you had to drink today, Mensa? Water, Mensa replied. How many of us have had water to drink today? How many of us have had juice to drink today? <laughs> All right, well, guess what? You're luckier than most. Because you know there's some kids like you who haven't had water at all all day. Did you know that? Yes. 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 Lucky? Mommy doesn't go to work anymore. She's sad all day. Daddy tries his hardest to make us all happy, but he's tired all day, taking care of people who are sick from it. My brother Kweku used to run and play, but he doesn't do that anymore. And me, I'm just sick of it. <laughs> yes, you're lucky, Mr. Samoa said. You had some learning programs on TV. And I know some of you use your parents' phones and even laptops to have lessons, right? Hmm, we thought. And even though you have to socially distance when you are in school, you're able to be in school. And you do still get to play, don't you? Hmm, we thought. So you're lucky, Mr. Samoa said. Lucky? Mommy doesn't go to work anymore. She's sad all day. Daddy tries his hardest to make us all happy, but he's tired all day. Taking care of people who are sick from? Hey. <laughs> Kweku used to run and play with his friends, but he can't do that anymore. And me, I'm just sick of it. Oops, I had said that out loud. Now the whole class was looking at me. Have you ever had that moment when you thought everything was in your head, but not knowing you said it out loud? Have you ever had that moment? Yeah. yeah? And you feel like the, the, the ground should open up and swallow you up? That's what Grace felt like. The whole class was looking at her, wide-eyed, surprised, and oh, so curious. Yes, Grace? What else are you thinking, Mr. Samoa asked. I gulped and took a deep breath. And then I said, I wish I was far away, maybe on another planet, in another place that doesn't have it. All I keep hearing is everywhere I go, it will be there. Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia, possibly even Antarctica. Is that why it's called a pandemic? Is there a place anywhere where there is no it? I hear you, Mr. Samoa said. And with that, I felt less scared. I see you too, Mr. Samoa said. And with that, I felt a smile coming on. One so big, one so strong, one so true, one so real. Did you know, Grace, that you're a pandemic warrior? You know those smiles, right? They start right inside of you and slowly come up. They make you feel stronger, like you can begin to do anything. 
They sometimes come as a surprise, other times not so much. But the really cool thing is, I started feeling like a warrior. I know that COVID-19 has done so many harmful things to many families around the world. Mr. Samoa continued, and with that I knew its name, COVID-19. And because I knew its name, I could fight it. And because I knew my name, there was no stopping me. I was Grace the Pandemic Warrior. I was beginning to like the sound of that. Now, Mr. Samoa said, I will tell you the weapons you need and I'll teach you a warrior song. And I promise you, you'll feel braver each time you sing it. Say its name, have no fear. Say its name, get into gear. Say its name, we're counting on you. Say its name, I mean you too. By the end of the song, Mr. Samoa had 24 pandemic warriors in year two. We were ready for battle because we felt strong. We were ready for battle because we knew who the enemy was. We were ready for battle because we were fighting together. So must have weapons for the pandemic warrior. A protective mask. You're all wearing masks, right? I'm not wearing one just because I'm reading out loud to you from here. But you all have masks that say warrior. And then hand sanitizer. And then you need the can-do attitude. Do you know what a can-do attitude is? It's that kind of attitude that says, I'm not gonna let things bother me. I'm gonna figure out a way to conquer stuff. You wash your hands often with soap and water, wear a mask and properly too. Stay at least one meter apart when you're in enclosed spaces and then definitely avoid crowded places. Now there's a page for you Whenever you meet somebody who's doing what they're supposed to do to fight the pandemic, you can say, do you want to sign my warrior page? You get to sign somebody else's warrior page and other people get to sign your warrior page. And then the last page, I want everyone to read it out loud. What does it say? So are you ready, warrior? Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't strong enough. You didn't sound like warriors to me. Are you ready, warrior? Fantastic! Are you ready, warrior? Yeah. Now, you're going to have to be louder than Dr. Shin, and I'm loud. Are you ready, warriors? Yeah. Woo! That is awesome. that she's also sick of the coronavirus. I also understood that I should be grateful for all the things I have. I watch TV, now I go to school. I have fun with my friends. I have a good life with my mommy, my daddy and my granny, my friends and my teacher at school. In this book, I learned how to protect myself of the coronavirus. The first thing to do is to smile. But after you, you wash your hands properly, I will show you how. Like this. And also, how to put your mask. I enjoy reading this book. It tells me many things about the coronavirus. Now I am a pandemic warrior. Stay safe. Bye bye. Alright, today we are going to read 
Grace the Pandemic Warrior, written by Dr. May Shen. I have counted 256 days, 14 hours, 16 minutes, 3 seconds since it, it happened. It is a very bad thing. It happened when I was in school and it keeps going and going and going. Amy doesn't go to work anymore. She is sad all day. Daddy tries his hardest to make us all happy. So you want to draw Grace, the pandemic warrior? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't want to draw the mask off because she's in her house. Okay. Mm. That's Grace, the pandemic warrior. I'm the Grace, the pandemic warrior, right? Guess what, Daniela? What? Auntie Mary sent us a book all the way from Ghana. Amazing! Yeah, she sent it to us in here in Canada, and I downloaded it onto our iPad. All the way from Ghana to Canada? Yes. This story is called Grace, the Pandemic Warrior. <gasps> it's so exciting. It's about fighting COVID-19. Okay, so... First, before I read you the story, tell me, why do you like reading? Because my brain grow bigger, stronger, mightier, better, and smarter, and it helps my imagination. Yes, I love reading my reading books and using my imagination. Because it helps me think like I'm actually inside the story and being Grace the Pathan and the Warrior. Awesome. So let's listen to the story. Grace was asking her school counselor about fighting COVID-19. And he said, I have a song that I can teach you and it will help you feel brave each time you sing it. It goes like this. Say its name, have no fear. Say its name, get into gear. Say its name, we're counting on you. Say its name, I mean you too. And by the end of the song, Grace was feeling so brave that she was ready for battle. And she was going to fight the coronavirus with all of her classmates. And she reminds us to always wear a protective mask, use hand sanitizer, always have a smile, and have a can-do attitude. Do you think you could do that like Grace? Yeah! All right, now it's time for bed. I think you're ready to be a pandemic warrior. Good night, Mama. Good night, Daniela. Sleep well. See you in the morning. Good morning, Mommy! Good morning, Daniela! I'm not Daniela. I'm Grace, the pandemic warrior! And I'm going to fight COVID-19! How are you going to do that? I'm going to keep sanitizing, wash my hands, wear the mask, and social distancing! Off you go! Fight the corona! I'm ready to fight COVID-19! Sanitizer for everybody! Migrates. I'm from His Majesty Christian School in the San Michael C. I teach in KG2. I read the story to the children and I realized that Grace and her friends, there is a song in the book. So I taught my children the song and this is what you're about to hear. I am part of the pandemic warriors. I use the max. I wash my hands with the soap and the water.
And what are you going to do to destroy the virus? I'm going to uh, hit the virus. So? How are you going to hit the virus? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Okay. Yeah! And who's that behind you? Gecko. And who's Gecko? He's a superhero. Oh, Gecko. Are you going to fight the virus? Yes! And how are you going to fight the virus? Fight it? How? where we are still going through a pandemic all over the world. This pandemic which have affected so many lives and, and takes so many lives around the world. So I want to dedicate this to everyone who lost their family members, a friend, a loved one to the pandemic. I want to dedicate this to all those who are fighting through this pandemic, those who lost their jobs and those who even lost hope. You know, when you have grace, you have everything. And Dr. Mary Eichen have written an amazing book of grace, of gratitude, of hope. And I believe that to this book, we really understand that there's nothing to be scared about. And together, we can overcome this pandemic. So, grace to you. I feel, I feel amazing. I feel like a baby. And the feeling is priceless. Because sometimes you just want time to stop. And you enter into your head. And what the name of the book does to you, Grace? Because my name is Grace, and the book is Grace. Suppose with the, gra the book. I, because my name is Grace, Grace with Grace. And the book is Grace. I relate so much because I'm a warrior. Woo! Awesome! <laughs> Christmas, my mommy had COVID. I was very scared and sad. Grace told me it is okay to be scared. And together we can fight the coronavirus. I am ready for the battle. I am a pandemic warrior. Love, Nian. Hi. Oh my goodness. It's been such an amazing, awesome, brilliant day. I'm empowered to become Grace the Pandemic Warrior. I'm so empowered. I'm actually geared up, ready to go out there to wash my hands to keep safe, use my sanitizer. 
scarf and do all the little little things that can help beat this pandemic and together we can so if i'm feeling inspired grace was inspired dr shen was inspired i'm sure you are being inspired right now so the next question you're probably wondering is Hmm, where can I actually get Grace the Pandemic Warrior to buy? Well, they're available. You can come right here to the video bookstore here in Laboni, or you can go to the Usu branch as well, or you can visit Amazon, Starbites, Kingdom Bookstore, Book Nooks, Booksy, Boutique. I could go on and on and on. Books are just available everywhere. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more of Dr. Tishan's subsequent books and events. As a matter of fact, I'd like you all to watch out for her next book, Grace the Christmas Angel, which comes out this November. It's going to be awesome. You don't want to miss that. Finally, before I go, okay, if you miss this book launch, and you fancy meeting Dr. Shen in person for a book signing, she will be here again today at exactly 16 hours GMT 2 have your book autographed or signed off. So until the next book launch, stay safe, go be a pandemic warrior and adios and enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.